Finally, my little escape artist has returned to me. Oh, please, little one. You have no reason to be fearful of me anymore. You are here now. I no longer need to wait for danger to befall you to be in my presence. Yes, forgive me. I usually do not have time to speak to mortals before guiding them into crossroads. My name is Tenebrace. I am the God of Doom, and you are in my labyrinth. I have been watching you as much as I could for a while now, trying to capture you. Oh dear, it's not in a bad way. Well, I suppose it would be bad for a mortal, but you, you are quite hard to catch, my love. What do I mean? Ah, of course. You cannot see me until right now. You would not know. Well, like I said, I am the god of doom. Every accident that you humans encounter, from a fall to a crash, I am there. I watch and control it to a certain extent. To wait for the results. And to comfort and collect the souls that have been tangled in my strings. Oh. You meant, what does that have to do with you? Ah, yes. That makes more sense. Hmm. How do I explain this? Ah, I do not wish to lie to you. Relationships are built on trust and communication, after all. At least, that's what the other gods have told me. Do you remember your first accident? The first time true fear filled your body? And you thought you were not going to be able to get out of that certain situation. Well, I was there. That was my doing. My work along with the fate's plan. I am not allowed to know the outcome of these events, as it might lead me to become biased towards certain things. Cause me to act when I should not, but... <sighs> you are an entirely different story. The moment my eyes fell on you, I had to know. You were supposed to be fine, and I was happy. Truly, I was. I wished for no harm to come to you. However, I also wanted to see you again. And it is my nature to bring misfortune to mortals. Where I go, accidents must follow. Yes, I suppose that I should have just spit it out. Um, in order to see you, to watch over you, I had to put you in situations that might not have been the safest. Every near-death experience you have ever had has been my fault. And I, I apologize dearly for the pain that I have brought upon you, but I swear I never would have done it if I was the god of anything else. I know I am not favored by any mortal because of the distress I bring to you, but I just wanted to see you. You say you do not blame me. However, you really should. It is my influence that has caused the last few years of your life to become so stressful. It was the only way I could interact with you. I mean, at least with you still being alive. Yes, that is correct. You are no longer on the mortal plane anymore. However, I did not bring you to the crossroads. You are in my domain, an endless labyrinth made shadows. Ever-changing turns and twists meant to keep me entertained in my loneliness, meant to keep me at bay from the other gods, from humanity, meant to keep me alone, separate from others. <clears throat> right, right, sorry. Please forgive my selfishness. I really did try to let you live your full life. However, I, I could not stay away. This time, the last time I had to, I grew tired of waiting. <laughs> Ironic for an immortal being, but I promise. As my counterpart, I will spend the rest of time making it up to you. I just could not stop myself. 
especially with you escaping so many times. Oh, do you not realize why I became fascinated by you? You are the only one that has been able to resist me for this long. I expected it was just luck the first few times, but then it just kept happening. It was infuriating, maddening, fun. <laughs> Who else but my equal could invoke such a reaction from my soul? I kept trying to embrace you and you just kept slipping through my fingers, through my wings, back into the safe human world, leaving me again until I could set up another way to see you. Yes, I intend for you to be mine as much as I will be yours. You have nothing to fear anymore, my love. You shall ascend as my partner, as my counterpart, so we can spend eternity together. <laughs> oh, it will be perfect! If you want, I can even gift you a dog. Well, less of a dog and more of a domesticated monster. I will get one that glows in the dark to help you see. Until your eyes turn red to give you vision in the labyrinth's blue light. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Those are the, um... What do you humans call them? The strings of fate? Strands of fate? Either way, they are what I use to collect human souls who succumb to me. Even they react to you. <laughs> oh, fitting! Oh, I cannot wait! Once you get comfortable, we can start our family! Yes, our family. Hmm? What does that concerning look on your face, my love? I promise you do not have to worry about any problems. I'm a god, remember? Human rules do not apply. We can have hundreds of godly children, each one a different physical embodiment of a human's possible demise. <laughs> Oh, wait! Come back! Is, is this how it's supposed to go? The Mario's partner quite literally fell into his bed. Oh, wait! <laughs> I've heard of this. Some humans like to be chased. That must be what this is. My counterpart must be one of those people who... Oh, what did the other god call it? Uh, play hard to get? Yes, it all makes sense now. How fun! I guess using my wings to go above the walls would make this too easy. My love, you just keep surprising me. But after eons of nothing, I am looking forward to eons of excitement with you. You know, once you ascend, you might get wings of your own. It would match how I look. To show the other gods we belong to each other. That might make this a bit boring if we are both flying above the walls. But if we are both walking like mortals, this game can go on as long as we'd like. The labyrinth changes after a while, and even I have not learned all the paths it can form. Although it is an extension of myself, much like the strings, I do not control every action it takes. But no matter, it will be amazing to hear the laughter of our children echo throughout the walls instead of this blasted wind all the time. And as my equal, you also have an innate sense of how to move around in my domain. The fact that you have evaded me in here for more than a second is proof that you are mine. Let you go? Uh, are you trying to get away from me? Oh, I, I see. This is not something you like. But you simply did not want to be around me. You are trying to leave? Oh, my little escape artist. You do realize that if you were trying to lessen my devotion to you, the worst thing you could have done was free yourself from my strings. Who else but my equal partner could defy fate in such a way? If anything, you just gave me further proof that we belong together. That we belong. That you belong to me and I to you. I will find you. Then we can talk about this face to face, my love. There you are! Sorry to cut our chase short. I just thought I heard you say you wanted to leave, and I just know I was hearing things. Forgive me, after so long of not having another person to hear, 
one tends to create conversations in their head. Now look at me. Oh, you poor thing. You look down right frantic. It is okay, I promise I will not cheat in our game again. I just need some reassurance. What was it you said? So you did ask to leave. <laughs> Why? Was it my comment about the children? You'll not be doing anything alone, my love. D do you think of me as some kind of deadbeat? Of course, I would care for our children just as much as I would care for you. I want a family. I would never leave you alone. And, and if it was the amount of children that scared you, well, we did not have to have so many all at once. <laughs> I appreciate that your mind went to that outcome, but we can space it out over a few thousand years, no problem. I swear on my father, chaos itself, you will never feel tired or overburdened. That is not the issue. Oh, are you scared you will be trapped here? We can, I, I can, I can take you anywhere you want to go as well. Anywhere in the world. Just name the place and we can fly there. Once you ascend, I'm sure you will be able to counter my powers. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll become the god of peace. We could use one. Godly family dinners get a bit messy most of the time. <laughs> uh, you will not have to witness any mortal anguish if you do not wish to. I, I will shield you from my work. If that is what you desire, I, I swear, I will not let the responsibility of my work rest upon your mind. Just, just stay. Be the one that calms and relaxes me, and I will take care of you. Just, please. No? You are scared of me. <laughs> Of course! Of course you are! Why... Why would a mortal not be scared of me? You cannot understand my will, my needs, my power! Of course you do not want to be alone with me! Who oh, would? You cannot breathe? Oh, love, you are not alive anymore. You do not need it. But your soul does remember the feeling, so it can be uncomfortable. It is more mental than anything. Here. See, even though I do not like it, I am willing to bend to your needs and wants. Is that not enough for you to want to stay? I, I apologize, my emotions got the better of me. Uh, are you hurt? Good. Um, do you... I will take you to the crossroads if you wish. You will be taken to the underworld from there by the god of death. Perhaps you will reincarnate and live a peaceful life without my influence this time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> peaceful life. I, I, bet, I bet you will be amazing and loved fiercely by all who counter you. <laughs> a shining light in a doomed world. <laughs> Um, uh, thank you. I... Would you like me to carry you to the crossroads? I'm not sure if you want me touching you after that, but... You... You want to try and be with me? Why? I mean, good. But after what I just did, why? I mean, I could tell you I meant no harm, but... Oh. As friends first. Yes. I suppose you do not know me as well as I know you. I look like I need one. Um, well, uh, I suppose I do. I... Is that what humans do? Be friends and then become lovers? Sometimes. I see. Alright, we can see where this goes if 
that is what you desire. D a condition. Of course. What is it? Just speak to you instead of freaking out like that? Is that all? Yes, I can work on that. As long as you are here to let me know what I am doing it and calm me down, I will try to be better for you. Always. I will try not to scare you again. Right, right. I'm breathing. I'm calming down. I swear. Uh, of course you could stay. That is all I ever wanted, even if you do not want me the way I want you. I still wish to have the pleasure of your company. Thank you. Truly, you, you do not realize how much this means to me. You do not have to do anything you do not want to. And if a time comes where you do want to leave, I will be honest, it will be harder to let you go the more time you spend with me. But I will try not to freak out, as you put it. Maybe, maybe one day. Well, we have all the time, I suppose, so... What would you like to do first? <laughs>